Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. McNeil to hire investigative team over his link to Didi. Tamiyo Taylor makes runway debut at L'Oreal Paris fashion show. Ellen DeGeneres says she's proud of who she's become after being labelled as mean in toxic workplace scandal. Alta Beauty announces partnership and launch of multi-branded beauty collection with Universal Pictures' new cinematic event, Wicked. And Bella Hadid makes epic return to the runway for Saint Laurent after two-year hiatus. And on our training segment, American rapper Mick Mill has revealed that he wants to hire an investigative team to find out why he's being linked to disgraced music executive Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy. Recall that Diddy was recently arrested by Homeland Security on suspicion of sex trafficking, racketeering, conspiracy and interstate transportation for prostitution. Following his arrest, Diddy's past and present associates have been under media scrutiny. Reacting to the media scrutiny, Mick Mill said he is willing to hire an investigative team for $100,000 to find out about the involvement of his name in Diddy's case. He also said that he's interested in finding out who are those empowering the media to involve him in the scandal. On his X handle, Mick Mill wrote, I want to hire an investigative team with $100,000 cash to find out every specific detail involving Mick Mill named to Diddy's case. I also want them to look at who is powering the media involving Meek, anything to do with Buddy. Something's not right. McMill, Please. now he's not your friend anymore, right? Please. I, I just feel like everybody's trying to stay away from the whole thing because I know this is going to blow up really big, especially if Diddy starts to talk or yes. any of his associates he's start gonna to talk. He's going to talk. Yeah. Just the same way all of the CEOs and you know leaders of all these companies are coming down yes. and resigning. Yes. The same way every artist now is... I know seeing the way you're asking me the other yes. day, oh, why is Jay-Z quiet? I'm yes. like, he's just minding his business yes. <laughs> until yes. maybe something is said of him. And of course, he'll involve his lawyers. Definitely. So right now, I don't know why McMill is having Okay, nobody has called. We already we have we remember every time when you guys mm -hmm. used to be together. Now all mm -hmm. of a sudden he's buddy now. Yeah. Right? Oh Lord, don't ever get into trouble. I swear. People are going to dissociate themselves from you so fast. So quickly. <laughs> but do you think Mick Mill had anything to do with all of this? Because I mean, if you're actually innocent, why are you panicking? Why are you calling lawyers up and down? I think that Mick Mill probably attend these Diddy parties. Mm -hmm. I think he knows something. He knows. I mean, if you're close to Diddy like he was, because I mm -hmm. think he was close to Diddy, yeah. you would know a little bit of something. But I don't know about this whole sex tra trafficking thing. Yeah. I'm just, that one is still, it's I'm still trying intense. to wrap my head about yeah. it. Yeah. It's actually quite deep. And on our sports segment, Nigerian actress and fashion icon Temi Otedola, daughter of business mogul Femi Otedola, made a stunning debut on the runway at Paris Fashion Week. She graced the catwalk for the Lady Phil L'Oreal Paris Walk, Your Worth, Spring Summer 2025 show on Monday. Temi, who is also L'Oreal's first African digital ambassador, shared her excitement on Instagram with a video of her runway walk, captioned Empowered. Still can't believe I walked the L'Oreal Paris to the few show. Walking alongside so many women who inspire me was a dream come true. She expressed her pride in representing Africa's beauty on the global stage, calling the experience an unforgettable night. Tammy joined a star-studded lineup of international celebrities, including Eva Longoria, Aisha Waria, Cara Devlin Gay, Andy McDowell, Kendall Jenner, Viola Davis, Heidi Klum and Isle Byatt, hmm. all whom participated in the highly anticipated show. Tammy looks wow. really beautiful. I seen it, oh, I saw it. Yeah. And she walked so elegantly. She was on all red. Wow. I think she, she wore like a balloon-like kind of mm. dress and then her hair was all pulled back. Mm. She looked absolutely stunning with red lips as well. Mm. She looked really beautiful. Beautiful girl. And I love that, you know, she's the one representing, you know, Africa yes. on that stage yes. because they had all the stunning women mm. on that stage. There was Eva Longoria, there was uh, Cara Delevingne, there were so many beautiful yes. people who were there. You know, I didn't know that L'Oreal has such... Like, L'Oreal is very, very hand-picked. Like, they picked the ambassadors. I love it. Very stunning ladies I love it. to rock that runway. I so, Temi really killed it. And guess what? What? Her husband was there. <laughs> and he was supporting her right there. Yeah, I was supporting her. He's, you so, know? he's yeah. so, so lucky. So, yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I know why you'd say that. Yeah. I know why you'd say that. He's but, so lucky. Yeah, he was there cheering <laughs> for his girl. And it was so beautiful to see. She really looked really stunning on that, you you know, walkway. And on to our editorial segment, Ellen DeGeneres got candid in her latest stand-up special on Netflix for your approval. The former talk show host told an audience she is proud of who she's become 
four years after she was labelled as mean and accused of leading a toxic workplace. When you're a public figure, you're open to everyone's interpretation. And I'm sure you've heard the saying that what other people think of me is none of my business. Because people will say all kinds of things and you have no control over that. But you know the truth and that's all that matters, she shared. While she acknowledged that her career in comedy forced her to care what people think as a way to gauge success, Jigeneres admitted that she's done focusing on what others feel about her, especially after allowing the mean label consume her. The comedian came under fire when employees of her eponymous talk show, which ran for 19 seasons between 2003 to 2022, came forward alleging that Jigeneres led the set with intimidation, racism, and fear. The scandal resulted in the firing of three top producers of the show. You know what, Ellen Jigeneres, she kind of was disappeared for a little bit because i haven't heard mm -hmm. much about her mm -hmm. but i remember when that scandal came out when they were all saying that she was very mean she's very hard to work with i mean we work in a setting with different people mm -hmm. so a lot of times the top top people you don't mm -hmm. know how what's going on in their lives yeah. i feel like that has a lot to play with how she probably treated her staff i don't know how true that was do you know, I, do you know if someone would tell me that ellen DeGeneres would be a mean boss i can't and, believe you know, it right? i would never yeah. in my life believe. she looks like a very sweet yeah. person yeah. i mean i've watched her shows over time you know she's a talk show host yes, and yes. you know she's one of the people that i look up to so yes. I, I watch a lot of her clips yes. and all of her shows mm -hmm. she's very sweet you know yeah. she helps the poor gives yes. out you know things to them yes. and all of that encourages people mm -hmm. i would never believe and then this whole racism thing also yes. in it i, I don't think i don't know if because i mean but if more and one person has come out to say that then there might be some sort of honesty or truth There's to it, truth in it i yes. really do not want to believe it yes. and you know she coming out to say oh it's not her truth oh she knows the truth blah 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 i mean i just hope it isn't true because i really really like her and i like the job that she's been doing for years i mean she has been in this industry for years for a long time yeah but then you know there's also this thing of you know when you're really strict yes. and serious people yes. take it to be mean definitely i yes. think they said something about you know uh, the likes of funky akindele as mm -hmm, well they always mm -hmm. see how oh, she's mean she's wicked but yes. maybe she just takes her job too seriously that, okay business. everybody exactly yes. you have to like that yes. so it might be that it might not be that but i'm just hoping that ellen is not really like you yeah. know what she's being portrayed to be. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, now she's doing stand. Well, she she did stand up comedy before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now I think that's probably what she's doing. I wonder what she's been doing this whole time that yeah. she's been on high. She, I think she took a break and then they want to do like a comedy special okay. for her okay. on, Netflix. on Netflix. I, yeah, I saw a little bit of trailer. Okay. So, okay. But even when I saw the comments, you know, that I were like, oh, we don't care. I know they what, what are you her. doing? Oh, they, f oh, they did. Oh. Oh, they did. But you know what? People are still going to watch it. It's human beings. I will. They'll still watch it. <laughs> Do you understand? They will still watch it. Yeah. yeah. So on to our new collection, Auto Beauty announces a partnership with Universal Pictures Wicked for a multi-branded beauty collection. The collection inspired by the film adaptation of the musical about the Witches of Oz includes makeup, skin care, hair care and accessories from various brands. The collection will be showcased in Auto Beauty stores nationwide through displays and experiences from October 6th to December 25th. And on Spicy or Not, Bella Hadid made her triumphant return to runway on Tuesday, strutting her stuff at Saint Laurent's Spring 2025 show during Paris Fashion Week. She was styled in a black suit with a white button-up shirt, black tie and oversized glasses. Her hair pulled back into a simple bun. Other models wore similar androgynous looks, while some were dressed in colorful ruffled skirts and lacy blouses. It's the first time the 27-year-old model has graced the catwalk since October 2022, before she took a break from the modeling industry to focus on her health and control her Lyme disease. Yeah, I think Bella, I'm so happy that she, you know, she's back on the runway. runway. She's one model that, you know, a lot of other models look up yes. to. She, her sister and the likes of Kendall Jenner yes. and the rest. So, yes. you know, this is a great time. I think, yeah. you know, Paris Fashion Week is one, you know, fashion week that is being anticipated around the world. Yes. So seeing her come back and make a debut, yes. you know, after such a long time is yeah. actually a really good, you know, comeback for yeah. her. That and disease, really I don't yeah. know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not really familiar with that disease. It's so crazy. I don't know yeah. what, what happens to you when... I actually do not know yeah. as well, mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, I'm happy that she's back yeah. and, you know, hail and hearty. Yeah. Don't forget to catch us up at SpiceTV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, you have a lovely time. Bye-bye. Okay.